the Seychelles with the resources that we have, the marine resources, that's what we have, that's all we have really. And we depend on our marine resource for everything, whether it's um, economic activities or for tourism and fisheries. We don't have anything without that. So I realized it was important to conserve the ocean when um, growing up and understanding the relationship that the Seychelles people have with the ocean, with the marine ecosystem and how much we rely on it for our food, because most of our food comes from the sea. And I think I understood how important it was for us to protect it. Everything is connected to the ocean. We get fruit from the ocean, protection from the ocean. Our climate, our weather is driven by processes which are from the ocean. So everything we do in a way or another is connected to the ocean. It is an integral part of our lives. We're only 455 square kilometers of land compared to over a million square kilometers of ocean. Ideally, you would call the Seychelles a large oceanic state. The Seychelles economy is driven by tourism and fisheries, the two main drivers of our economy. So the corals provide a home for different species in the ocean, macro, invert, fish species, but they also provide for economic activities, including diving and snorkeling. But at the same time, corals protect your coastline. There has been a rise in ocean temperature and this has an impact on your corals because then this leads to coral bleaching and then you lose the corals because then you end up with dead corals. When coral bleached, you'll observe the white corals and once they're dead, they are usually taken over by turf algae. The resources that you had and the activities that you could carry out on a coral reef, then you've lost that. Most of the main challenges that our country is facing is related to climate change. The reefs closer to the inner islands are the ones that are most impacted from humans. These reefs are more likely to die off faster. What you see is that fishermen, they have to go out further and for longer to catch the same amount of fish. The price of fish goes up and people then have to pay more for a fish, which is sad. I'm currently working on the Seychelles Marine Spatial Planning Initiative. The plan will look to facilitate that we are able to continue with our fisheries industry, with our tourism industry, in a sustainable way to ensure that we can rely on these economies for future generations to come. So if you have the right protected areas, the right size, in the right place, then this will minimize that impact, not only to our biodiversity, but to our economy and to the people of the Seychelles. We carry out diving activities with the intent of collecting data on coral reefs to ensure that the management of protected areas in Seychelles is effective. 
really looking at the state of the corals, especially with, with such events as um, coral bleaching. We looked at corals, measured the corals, we looked at coral recruits and we also looked at macro invertebrates. The idea is to use this data to look at effects on different activities on coral reefs, to look at diseases, at pollution in coral reefs, more specific to protected areas but also outside protected areas. Mapping the reef, you can see the changes. We have this very long period of time where the temperature is really high and the, the corals cannot recover. So this has a huge impact on your marine resource, on coral reefs. We have started a um, coral reef restoration project looking at other ways to try and restore coral reefs using the corals that are more resilient and growing these corals and putting them back on the reef. SNPA is one of our main key partners, not only because they are the organization responsible currently for managing and enforcing marine protected areas, but they also have several monitoring programs which are integral in providing data to us. When it comes to future protected areas, they will be the key people for us to discuss with how well would we manage these areas and what is the best approach. It's very important that we constantly have this good, healthy coral cover. And I want everything that I do should make a difference and it should have an impact. I think it's a really wonderful feeling knowing that whatever information you bring back, it's going to contribute to the way we do conservation and that's going to have a positive impact on marine conservation in Seychelles.